Now see the question number 21. An excess of AgNO3 is added to 100 milliliter of 0 0.01 molar solution of dichloro tetra aqua chromium 3 chloride. The number of moles of AgCl precipitated would be. Let us solve the question. In this question, the complex given is dichloro tetra aqua. So this is chromium, 4 ligands, H2O, 2 chlorine and 1 chlorine is outside of the ionization sphere. Now if this complex is treated with AgNO3, only this chloride ion will be precipitated as AgCl. So if the given complex is 1 mole, and AgNO3 added is 1 mole, then precipitate of AgCl obtained will be 1 mole. Now in this question, the given quantity, it means moles of AgNO3 given is molarity 0 0.01, volume is given 100 milliliter which is equal to 0 0.1 liter. So, number of moles of AgNO3 added is 0 0.001. If addition of 1 mole AgNO3 precipitated 1 mole AgCl, then addition of 0 0.001 mole of AgNO3 will precipitate 0 0.001 mole of AgCl. So, see the options. The correct option is fourth one. It means the answer of question will be option number 4. Next question, question number 22. Question number 22 is KMNO4 can be prepared from the K2MNO4 as per the reaction. This is MNO4 to negative ion plus 2H2O product side to MNO4 negative plus MNO2 plus 2OH negative. The reaction can go to completion by removing OH ions by adding. Now here we have to remove OH ion. So OH ion is basic ion. It can be removed by addition of any acid. So see the option KOH cannot be used. We can use CO2. We can use SO2. We can use HCl. But if in the reaction we use sulfur dioxide, then sulfur dioxide will be reduced by KMNO4. If we use HCl, HCl can be oxidized by KMNO4. But if we are using carbon dioxide to shift the equilibrium in the forward direction, there won't be any problem because carbon dioxide is already an oxidized form and being acidic, it can neutralize the effect of OH ion. So here the correct option is second option. So answer of question should be second option. The next question is question number 23. Now let us see the question number 23. Which of the following will not undergo Friedel-Crafts reaction easily? Friedel-Crafts reaction is alkylation of aromatic ring that is electrophilic substitution reaction. Now first option is xylene. Xylene is the compound in which two methyl groups are attached to the benzene ring and methyl group is ring activating group. So this compound can undergo electrophilic substitution reaction easily. The second option is nitrobenzene. If nitro group is attached to the benzene ring being an ring deactivating group, the electrophilic substitution reaction becomes quite difficult. Third option is toluene. In the structure of toluene, there is one methyl group which is attached to benzene ring. So again ring activating group, electrophilic substitution reaction will proceed smoothly. Fourth option is cumin. The structure of cumin is like this. Isopropyl benzene. 
isopropyl group is also a ring activating group it means here also the electrophilic substitution reaction will proceed smoothly so in all the four option only nitro group is ring deactivating group it means friedel craft substitution reaction will become most difficult in case of nitro benzene so answer should be 2 correct answer is option number 2 Next question, question number 24. Which of these is least likely to act as a Lewis base? Lewis base is that substance which have the tendency to donate electron pair. Now see, this is fluoride ion. Fluoride ion will easily act as Lewis base. There is a negative charge. Second option is BF3. BF3 is an electron deficient compound. Electron deficient compound. An electron deficient compound behaves as Lewis acid. So it behaves as Lewis acid. Third option, this is PF3. Phosphorus is having a lone pair electron. So this molecule can also behave as Lewis base. Fourth is carbon monoxide. Both carbon and oxygen are having lone pair electron. So they too behave as Lewis base. So in all these four options, only BF3 acts as a Lewis acid. So answer should be second option. Next question is question number 25. Now let us see the question number 25. The basic structural unit of silicates. Silicates may be orthosilicate, it may be pyrosilicate, chain silicate, ring silicate, two dimensional silicate or three dimensional silicate. But all the types of silicates are made up of tetrahedral SiO4 unit. This is the structural unit of silicate. So correct option is first option. So answer should be 1. The next question is question number 26. Maximum deviation from ideal gas is expected from. It means which gas will show maximum deviation from ideal behavior. Now the first option is nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is a non-polar gas. Second is methane gas. That is also a non-polar gas. Third is ammonia. Ammonia is a polar gas. Fourth option is hydrogen. Again a non-polar gas. As we know in case of polar gases, intermolecular forces of attraction are quite strong. So they will show deviation from ideal behavior. Answer should be option 3. Next question is question number 27. Now let us see the question number 27. Which is the strongest acid in the following? HClO3, HClO4, H2SO3, H2SO4. Now chlorine is more electronegative than sulfur. It means chlorine is more non-metallic than sulfur. So oxy acid of chlorine is more stronger acid than sulfur oxy acid. Now in these two options. In first option, chlorine is present in plus 5 oxidation state, while in second option, chlorine is present in the plus 7 oxidation state. According to rule, higher the oxidation state, oxidation state of central atom, atom is stronger is the acid. Is stronger is the acid. So if we compare HClO3 and HClO4, HClO4 should be the stronger acid. Hence answer of this question is option number 2. The next question is question number 28. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज रियक्शन बाई विच बेन्जल डी हाइट कैन नॉट बी प्रिपेयर इट मीन्स विच ऑफ द गिवन रिएक्शन कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बेन्जल डी हाइट द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन इज गिवेन बेन्जॉइल क्लोराइड प्लस हाइड्रोजन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पेलेडियम बेरियम सल्फेट दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज रोजन मुंड रिएक्शन एंड रोजन मुंड रिएक्शन कैन बी यूज फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एनी ऑफ द एल डी हाइट सो दिस इज द करेक्ट Second option is given benzene plus CO plus HCl in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride that is known as Gettermann Koch aldehyde synthesis so this reaction can also used for the preparation of benzyl aldehyde the third option is benzoic acid plus zinc amalgam and concentrated hcl zinc amalgam and concentrated hcl this is known as clementian reduction this reduction can be used for the reduction of carbonyl compound but this reducing agent cannot reduce benzoic acid so using this method we cannot prepare benzyl aldehyde the fourth option is methyl benzene chromyl chloride in carbon disulfide followed by acidic hydrolysis this is known as etard reaction which is used to prepare benzyl aldehyde commercially so here the option 3 is correct answer next question is question number 29 Now let us see the question number twenty nine. The radical is aromatic because it has here the given radical is called benzyl free radical. This is aromatic. Now the first option seven p orbital and six unpaired electrons. Second option seven p orbitals and seven unpaired electrons. third option 6p orbital and 7 unpaired electrons fourth option 6p orbital and 6 unpaired electrons now see any of the compound or any of the ion or any of the radical can be considered aromatic if it obeys huckel's rule and according to huckel's rule any of the aromatic system must obey 4n+2 pi rule it means there should be 6p orbital and 6 pi electron which are completely delocalized so answer will be fourth answer and correct option is fourth option next question is question number 30 Roasting of sulfide gives the gas X as a byproduct. If any of the sulfide ore is roasted, then the byproduct obtained is sulfur dioxide, and the main product is metal oxide. Second clue is given. This is a colorless gas with choking smell of burnt sulfur and causes great damage to respiratory organs as a result of acid rain. As we know, sulfur dioxide is considered as pollutant because it damage our respiratory organ. And the sulfur dioxide, when dissolved in water, it forms sulfuric acid. and this sulfuric acid is a great cause of acid rain its aqueous solution is acidic that is true because sulfur is a non metal so its aqueous solution or oxides aqueous solution will be acidic act as a reducing agent and its acid has never isolated so here the answer should be sulfur dioxide now see the option first option is sulfur dioxide gas and this is the correct answer so answer is first option next question is question number 31 